Hey guys and welcome to November Favorites. Today I'm going to be sharing with you all of the products that I loved in the month of November and I wanted to start with a product that is very special to me. It is my most favorite and most used product and this is the new Hermes highlighter. So I have been using this highlighter I think for the past couple of months and I really love it. It is my current number one highlighter because it is so finely milled, so beautiful, and I can use it both on my face and on my eyes. This is actually the product that I'm using today on my eyes and on my face, and unfortunately I don't have natural light, so you're probably not going to see much of a difference in my skin, but this is a product that really changes the way my skin looks. It makes me look younger and it makes my skin look very cared for and very polished. So I have combination skin and I rarely would choose cream highlighters, but this one, it literally looks like almost like a cream highlighter. It doesn't emphasize any texture on the skin pores or anything. It's just such a beautiful glow and I just want to tilt my head now so that you can see and I also have it on my eyes. On the eyes it looks absolutely stunning. Now it is a very pricey highlighter. You can probably get a few highlighters for the, for the price of this one. It is only seven grams of product and uh, not only actually. For a highlighter this is a very good amount of product that you're getting. It is seven highlighters. Unfortunately this is not refillable um, like the blushes but I think it's worth the splurge. I still would buy this highlighter even for that price just because of the difference that it makes in my skin. I believe that highlighter is that one product that can really take your skin to the next level. Of course, it's makeup and it's only going to be temporary, but if there is a product that is going to really take my skin to the next level and this is this kind of product, then I should recommend this one. And I think it's absolutely worth the splurge because I don't have another yellowish highlighter that works so well on my skin. And I think this one is going to work on all skin tones, unless if you're cool toned and if you are very, very pale. If you're paler than me and if you have if you have cool skin tone, then it's not going to be for you. But for all other skin tones, I think it's going to work absolutely gorgeous. And I couldn't, I could not not recommend this one because I think it is a game changer. For me personally, definitely it is a game changer. I'd like to show another highlighter that I have been enjoying a lot over the past month. And this is one of the new Dior highlighters. So I have four, four of the new Dior highlighters and I have a review so in case you're interested I'm going to have a video. So the highlighter that I have been loving is in number three pearlescent glow and this is this gorgeous pearly white highlighter. It is very shimmery I think it just reminds me of snow. It just um, has the same shimmer as if you look at snow in the sunshine, it just has this kind of a vibe. It gives me the same vibe and that's why I'm loving this highlighter so much. I like to actually use it on my eyes because it adds this additional holiday sparkle and it just makes me feel like snow white and that's why I'm loving this highlighter as well. But if I have to rank them, if I have to rank right now my highlighters, all of them, I'll definitely have the Hermes highlighter on the first place. It is going to be the winner for me. Then another product that I have been loving, and this is not new, a lot of you probably know that I love this blush, and this is the number one from Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate in Brazen Rose. This is the blush that matches my skin tone so well, and this is the only blush that I'm using when I'm not filming. And when I'm filming, I usually try to use different makeup products um, just so that I don't use the same products over and over again. I try to use more products, but if I'm not filming, this is just my go-to everyday perfect blush shade, and that's why I'm recommending it. Then I have two eyeshadow palettes. No, actually I have three eyeshadow palettes. Two of them are quite similar, and I'm going to insert swatches to show you. So I have been loving, and this is actually my most favorite and most used and most loved Tom Ford eyeshadow palette, but also this is one of my top five eyeshadow palettes of all times. And this is Nude Dip by Tom Ford. So I just want to show you a close up. This is Nude Dip. I think it is just so universally flattering and beautiful. And then the other one is actually the Holiday palette from Dior. And this is in House of Dreams. So I have been loving these two palettes. They are absolutely beautiful. They are so gorgeous. So I'm going to insert swatches right now 
now side by side swatches of these two palettes because most of the shades look quite similar to me and when I was preparing the video I actually realized that I love this palette from Dior so much because I love nude dip and these two are quite similar. Now in the Dior eyeshadow palette you have five colors and you have this beautiful very creamy silver shade. The formulation is not the same. Nude Dip has the typical and the well-loved from Tom Ford wet and dry formula, which is one of my favorite eyeshadow formulas um, of all time. So I don't use the eyeshadows wet because they have enough pigment when used dry. They are so creamy, so beautiful. The formulation of Dior is not the same as Tom Ford, but it's just as beautiful. It is a little bit more powdery, I would say, and this is probably because the Tom Ford palette can be used both wet and dry, but I love both of these eyeshadow palettes and I really, this have been my go-to palettes for the month of November. And then another palette that I wanted to show you that I have been loving, and I wore this eyeshadow palette in a recent video and a lot of you messaged me, a lot of you said, what are you wearing on your eyes? This one looks incredibly beautiful and this is the Rose Prisma from Tom Ford. Now it has this pale lavender shade, but the shades that I mostly use from this palette is this brown color here, which is quite extraordinary. It is almost like a cool toned brown color. It's very, very beautiful and very extraordinary and then I like this topper shade. So I like to apply this color all over my eyelid and then apply this as a topper shade and it is really beautiful. The look is very very beautiful. So first when I purchased this palette I was not expecting that I was going to be using it as much as I do right now but now it's one of my go-to eyeshadow palettes just because of these two colors. They pair so beautifully together and I think that these colors alone justify the eyeshadow palette for me. The other two shades are also beautiful but I find myself using just these two, um, combination of these two all the time just because I'm not very adventurous on a daily basis when I do my makeup. I like to do my makeup quite quickly and these are the shades that I have been using. Then I have one bronzer that I wanted to share with you and this is the Dior bronzer in number 0410 bronze. I have it right here so you can see um, I did apply a little bit more today than I would usually apply but that's because I just want you to be able to see how it looks on my skin and it's a bronzer that matches my skin tone so well it is a beautiful cool toned bronzer and I'm going to have a link to a video where I reviewed this one so I have this one and number three and this one is my favorite next moving on to two Chanel favorites and I actually forgot to show you I have one more eyeshadow palette and this is the number five eyeshadow palette I was not very impressed, first of all, when I saw these colors. I thought I was not very, like, extremely impressed with the color story. It's a classic color story, but once I started using this palette, I love it so much and I'm so happy that I decided to pick this palette because it is one of the most beautiful palettes. It really helps to create this classic Chanel look. It's very classy, it's very beautiful, I think it is timeless and I think it is worth the splurge. Um, in my opinion, because not only it's a limited edition eyeshadow palette, of course I wish the patterns were a little bit more detailed like the holiday makeup collection of Dior, but still the colors are just so beautiful and they, they look gorgeous on the eyes. And then another product that I have, it's actually a highlighter and it's one of my all-time favorite highlighters and this is the Do the Camellia Highlighter from Chanel. Now, if you are interested to see swatches in natural light of these highlighters, I showed you the Hermes highlighter along with comparison swatches. I compared it to this highlighter and also to the Charlotte Tilbury highlighter and I believe that I compared it to one more highlighter. I'm not really sure, but I'm going to have a link in the description box. Today, I'm not filming my video as usual in natural light, just because it's very cloudy outside and I wouldn't be able to really show you the product in natural light. Besides, I've already shown this product in natural light and that's why I'm going to have links to those videos in the description box. And then I have two powders that I wanted to show you. And a good powder is a must-have for me. I think it's a must-have for, for everyone, unless you have very dry skin or dehydrated skin and you don't really need to use powder. So these two powders have been my favorite. One is the Chanel powder, and this is the 
natural finish loose powder. I wear the number 20 and then the other one is the Sisley powder. And now the price in these two is very different. This is much pricier. The Sisley powder is much pricier. It is very beautiful for those of you who have dry skin. But it's something that I wanted to share with you is actually that these two powders, now if you don't want to spend um, a lot on the Sisley powder, this one is gives a very similar effect. So you can save money here. You can always get the Chanel powder because it is not completely matte. It is not shimmery, but it's not also matte. It just has um, both of these powders have a little bit of sheen. So they almost have, how should I explain this texture? And now camera is not going to be able to catch here the, the difference and especially now that I don't have natural light, I'm not going to be able to catch this difference. But I promise that once I have natural light, I'm going to compare these two powders and I'm going to show you how they look in natural light. So they are luminous matte powders, both of them. Um, and there is not a really a visible luminosity that you're going to see on the face, but they just, both of them, they are not completely flat, matte, loose powders. They have a little bit of a luminosity going on. So if you don't want to spend um, on the Sisley powder, the shades are different, of course. This one is more yellow based. The Chanel one is yellow based, whereas the Sisley one is cool toned um, and it's more pinkish. I love them both, but you can definitely replace the Sisley powder with the Chanel one. Just wanted to let you know because I realized this um, recently, I realized it. And I just wanted to share with you that if you want to save some money and still have the quality of the Sisley powder, you can go for the Chanel powder. Then one other palette that I have been loving, and mostly I have been loving the bronzer. So it's this bronzer here, and it's a cool toned bronzer and that's why I love it so much. It matches my skin tone so well and I really love this palette just because of this bronzer alone. Also this one works really nice on my skin tone. I like to use it on my decolletage, on my shoulders, um, especially at the end of the summer. I was using these two bronzers a lot just to even out the skin tone on, um, on my body and on my decolletage around here and also on my shoulders. And something quite interesting about this palette is actually that this highlighter here um, is quite similar to the Hermes highlighter. It is not as fine and um, it doesn't ha really have the magic of the Hermes highlighter in my opinion, but still it is the closest uh, shade of highlighter that I have. It's the closest to the Hermes highlighter. So I think if you want to save some money and if you want to have also this cool toned bronzer, I think it's a great palette to have. And then I have three lip colors that I have been loving in the month of November. And this one is, this is actually a fuchsia color from Chanel and it's from the limited edition Camellia lipsticks. I'm not sure if they are still available. Check out the description box for a link. But I think that this um, color is is available also in the permanent line of Chanel. So, so this is the Rouge Allure Velvet in 347 Camellia Fuchsia. And it's the color that I'm wearing today on my lips. I think it's very suitable for, for this festive season. It is this gorgeous, very bright fuchsia color. It also almost has a little bit of coral in this fuchsia color and that's why I like it and it adds a lot of freshness to the face. Of course I have very thin lips. If you have uh, fuller lips than mine it's going to look even better. And then the other lipstick that I have is a classic red Chanel lipstick. It's from the Le Lyon collection from Chanel and this is 257 again from the Rouge Allure Velvet line and this is Rouge Triomphal and it's this classic matte red color a very well balanced red color. It is not cool toned but it's I would say neutral red color. And then the last lip color that I want to share with you is from the Rouge Coco Bloom and this is 116 in Dream and this is like I have to take it out because I have been using it a lot. It's a beautiful nude color. So it's this color here and it's a gorgeous everyday nude color that has enough color. It feels like a lip balm 
and that's what I love about li this lip color. I have been using it a lot. I Actually, I believe that I've shown this color in previous favorites videos, but just these are products that I tend to use all of the time, and that's why I'm showing it to you. So that was all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to let me know in the comment section below what are your current favorite makeup products, because I always learn so much from you. By the way, during the Black Friday sales, I managed to get some products from Clay Depot, so finally I'm going to review some products from Clay Depot. Also, I picked some Dolce & Gabbana makeup, so I'm quite excited to review this for you guys and thank you so much for watching take care and i hope to see you in my next video bye